All right, good afternoon. Uh, today we're going to do the first uh, unboxing that I'm going to do. Today I got it in a nice package right here. Uh, Y'all may not be able to see, but this is a Gunner Kennel dog kennel. I have a puppy coming here in a couple weeks and I'm getting her a kennel. This one was suggested to me by my nephew, Lane Short. So we're going to open this up and see exactly what uh, this kennel, it's gotten great reviews and everything online. So let's uh, cut into this and uh, see what it's all about. Today um, I will have links to everything I use and have in this uh, video. And what I'm going to use first is my Silver Stag pocket knife. So we're going to cut this open. We're going to be very careful. It says open with care. Uh, the package looks very well. It's taped up good. Very secure. Close this door so we got a little more space here. Alrighty. Everything in here. Pretty simple packaging. You got a little bit of your foam wrap. We've got our uh, packing slip. One thing I'd like to also say tells you who packed your your uh, kennel they also uh, gunner kennels they uh, do support first responders and military and retirees with a discount so another plus to uh, these guys now we're gonna pull this out of here it's not fully put together man that's got some good heft to it there Some assembly is required. Got the door. I went with the camo. I also bought the mat to go in the bottom so the dog can have a little more uh, cushion down there on the long rides. This is just an empty box. All right, so boy, that's a that's a heavy duty door there. That's metal. Good locking. I like the way that looks. Got the nice gunner kennels up top. Got a spot for a name tag here if you want to put a name tag on it. Oh, there's your. We've got two latches on the upper side right here. That'll lock them in so that the puppy dog cannot open this by jiggling that latch. That's uh, very nice. All right, let's, uh, let's look here and see what else we got. Get everything moved around here a little bit. Design for everywhere. Gives you about the gunner story. Uh, tells you, let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yep. About six or eight steps here to uh, put everything together. Pretty simple. Uh, you will have to uh, use a wrench. It is a 7 16th inch wrench. They do not provide that. And a 3 16th hex key, which is actually included, that's to put the door up. Um, so let's uh, go ahead and put this together and see what. Uh, actually, I'm going to pause this because I got to go get a 7 16th inch wrench or ratchet. All right, I'm back. I got my 7 16 cents wrench and I got my cobalt 35 piece uh, ratchet set. This little set right here, it's got about everything you need for around the house and everything. Great little bite. So we are on it, doggone it now. <laughs> 
step up to the next thing is put the handles on up top the handles are uh, very very good looking uh, they look to be very durable so we're gonna get them strapped on up here so made very well identified where it goes so far I'm pretty impressed good solid handle there bolts up good it's a little tight. The bolt holes are a little close together for me. Um, the handle fits in there pretty tight. You see how it sticks up on the front there. Um, it's not a problem. But uh, it does make tightening it down with the short side of the Allen wrench a little, uh, a little harder. But it's not undoable and don't forget you can always take a box in wrench and use that for a little more torque with your allen wrench if you're using the short side to tighten with all right so now we got our handles attached um, yeah, you can pick it up, it's not too bad. Um, it's not the lightest thing, but again, you kind of don't want the lightest thing that you're gonna put your dog in. Uh, you got good ventilation here on the sides. As you can see, good ventilation there. You also got vents in the back. And you got your front door. Right now, I've got it locked. So even when I pull that open, it ain't coming out. Pull these locks. There's the inside view. Here's the mat, anti fatigue mat for them. Slides right in there like that. Very nice and roomy. It's a double walled uh, kennel. One thing I still am going to bring up again are these tie downs. Look at that tie down. It's where you can tie that down in the back of your truck, inside your vehicle. Um, I think it's pretty nice. It's worth uh, it's worth what they got on the price tag there. I am not sponsored by Gunner Kennels, but uh, you know what? I'm going to give it two thumbs up. I like it. Here in a couple weeks, I'll let you know how it works with my new pup as uh, I go get her from Memphis up there at Duck Hill Kennels and uh, bring her on back to Georgia. All right, y'all have a good day. This is my review of Gunner Kennels G1 uh, Intermediate Kennel. I like it. Two thumbs up. Y'all go out and support these guys. Thank you.